Look who's keeping warm. She's got her new socks on, boys. New red socks. Yeah, I picked these up. Uh, I think they were like $16 or something like that. I forget. Maybe even less. They might have been like 9 bucks. I don't remember. Um, got them on eBay. Just, uh... Just something for peace of mind. I don't think they would end up burning, but the uh, spark plug boots were um, just getting a little close, a little close to the pipes. I don't want to make the videos too long, so but um, sometimes you know never get to really tell you guys everything in uh, one video. But when I was making the, I guess you know that video was sort of a backstory on this truck. Um, but just uh, make a little video of the things that that I want to do to it and that it needs, kind of you know, small repairs, what not. Oh yeah. Got the old whatnot. Um, one of the things is uh, you can obviously see right there the uh, when this truck sat, the mice uh, made a home in the old heater box there and uh, rotted it right out. So back when I was uh, just trying to get a little bit of heat out of it when I first got it I uh, kind of made this little mold of uh, metal tape and stuff and uh, some couple of little pieces of sheet metal under there kind of tucked it down in and tried to block it off to get you know most of the airflow to come into the cab so I could get a little bit of heat but uh, so either uh, I need a uh, new one of those, or uh, I thought about taking it out and trying to uh, fabricate um, a newer, a new lower piece on it. See if I can, because uh, the top of it's still in good shape. It's just the bottom it's rotted out, but uh, you can see a little bit on the top there uh, started to uh, rot through on the firewall. So, that's definitely one thing I'd like to, uh, one little project I'd like to address someday. Like I said, I don't drive it much in the cold, but sometimes I have to. And it's just got enough to clear the windshield. You know, it doesn't get too warm in there, but, um, you know, just enough. Obviously, and I had already said that um, I wanted to do the valve cover gaskets. Um, I kind of would like to get that old cast iron intake off of there and uh, put a nice aluminum one on because right now it just has, you know, an adapter. Um, it used to have the Quadrajet, you know, the factory stuff. Um, so it's got an adapter plate for the Edelbrock. These are kind of funny on the big blocks. You don't really know. Can't get a straight answer whether you got the oval ports or the rectangular port heads. But you got to kind of take the intake off and see what you got before you can buy one. But uh, it's kind of the hold up on that. That's why I never really did it. Um, Obviously, I do need to, it needs, uh, you know, basic tune-up stuff. I've never touched it uh, as far as plugs, wires, cap, rotor, stuff like that. Uh, but kind of like, uh, you know, why fix something if it isn't broke? 
but the uh, inner fenders are pretty solid uh, of course this piece here you got that little little spot where all the stuff splashes up and uh, it's pretty common the, uh, the battery has leaked a little acid down and started to rot that out a little bit but uh, not too bad battery tray it's got a um, kind of almost broken in half and it's got a uh, the guy before me was a chef he's got like one of those uh, restaurant hotel pan lids like a stainless steel lid that fit right in there and uh, so that's how the battery's held in I needed a battery not too long ago all I had was this top post that was really nice so rather than buy a new battery I just bought the adapters just uh, adapted it from that but I love cab lights some guys don't like them but I just love love the fact that both my trucks uh, this and the farm truck both have the cab lights and uh, I fought really hard to make them work on both trucks I had to find the wiring and um, hook them back up and mess around with all the sockets and make all the bulbs work but um, these I've been holding together as you can see they're uh, most of them are cracked and kind of broken and I've Gorilla glued them back together a couple times um, just recently I cleaned the snow off the other day and uh, I wiped this one right off but I just sort of have it sitting on there I put some more glue on it just to cover up the bulb and stuff but I went online I didn't realize uh, how cheap that they were um, of course you can buy some OEM you know new old stock ones like the die hard square body guys got and you're gonna pay 350 bucks for them for just the lenses but uh, yep I found me an aftermarket set looks just like the factory ones on eBay 15 bucks it should be here any day actually they were uh, they were right behind the socks so she's just sitting inside soaking up the heat all ready to go got her new ground pounders this truck's pretty solid. Uh, it does have a little bit just peeking through on the bottom of the fenders. Uh, the rockers are pretty solid on the outside. That's pretty much the worst spot on the whole truck, that cab corner, and it's uh, it's been like that since I got it. Hasn't gotten any worse. A little bit, see back there so just needs that lower skin there and uh, I'd like to do that someday that's a bracket from it had those stupid running boards on it when I first got it but oh, let's take a look at the other side see just a little bit chewed off that little piece there that cab corner has just got like a little scab not coming through yet snow's coming off um, interior is not too bad obviously it's got the old uh, the old seat cover you gotta have that hiding the uh, ripped up vinyl seat but still got some cushion to it pretty comfortable it's got the uh, the old dash designs 
nice dash cover. Everyone comments on that when they when they see it or get into my truck. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, the dash is pretty cracked under there, so she's hiding that. So the problem area in the floor on both sides, right there, probably about just that much, that big of a hole. Um, and that floor support little piece that goes underneath uh, those are rotted out on both sides the uh, the wife was complaining about a breeze so I slapped that um, plate down in there to just sort of block it off so that worked out uh, it always had these gauges. This is kind of like a vacuum gas saver gauge. Kind of funny. It goes crazy when you when you womp on the gas. Uh, the temp gauge works good. The lights are not. They don't light up, which always bother me. But I never never hooked them up. It's one of those things. So that being said, uh, maybe a nicer set of gauges uh, at some point. The headliner is sagging uh, and no power to this uh, interior light. I never really got around to uh, tracing. Uh, the headliner always sagged but it didn't have any rips until I put a, ple a piece of uh, plexiglass in from uh, Home Depot for a uh, pitcher that I broke and I had to repair before I got in trouble. And uh, I thought I'd put it inside to keep it nice, you know, for the ride. And uh, I caught the corner of it and ripped that. So it's got the slider window. It's a little, uh, little messed up. Doesn't really close all the way. Uh, it needs to be messed with a little bit. And one of those pieces comes off if you mess with it too much, which. Uh, People always want to reach for that and open it up when they get in the truck. It's got a custom horn button. When I got this truck, uh, it had this steering wheel on it right here which I still have sitting there don't know why obviously you can see it's uh, I think it's like 10 inch maybe even less but it's pretty small uh, the guy before me like myself uh, was expanding a little in the uh, front area um, so he needed some room and uh, that's why he had that small wheel but I didn't need it that small, so I put this one on, which originally came on the Suburban, and then I used his little horn button contraption that uh, is kind of silly but effective at the same time. The uh, indicator doesn't work for some reason, it doesn't move the little needle in there. You move the shifter. I never really cared about that. That's the mileage it's showing, so I'd assume that that would be 126,000 or 226,000. But with the way this thing runs and it's pretty original, it doesn't burn oil or anything like that. So. I would say it's probably 126 on it. The uh, bolts gauge works. Oil pressure works. This temp gauge does not, and that's why they have the one down there. So I guess uh, for in here, 
I would like to probably at, at some point take the seat right out, rip all the carpet out, fix the floors nice, and uh, fix those supports. Probably maybe get a, a fancier uh, dash bezel. Um, get a new one of these because that's broken. The radio's pretty nice. You know, they did the thing where they hack out the dash and cut the metal, put their deck in. But it's got the uh, aux port. It's got the USB CD player, everything you need. Um, there is no front speakers, which I would like something for a little bit of treble, you know. Um, it does have the uh, 1980 original GPS to get you where you need to go. It's, uh, it is the winner. Yeah. See, uh, see what's behind the seat. Who we got back here? We got a couple of ratchet straps. The old uh, six by nine boxes. Kind of got the narrow ones so you don't get in uh, don't get in the way. You got to come along, keep that nice and dry and warm. Never know when you're gonna need it. Some old yard sale signs. Looks like a uh, floor mat. I don't know why that's there. The tiki bar. Because you never know when you want a party. Various bungees and zip ties holding the stupid cover nice and tight. See, it's got some miles on it. So it'd be nice to uh, fix it up a little bit one day. Like I said, fix all the floor, maybe put a new rug back in or clean that one. Um, just uh, tidy it up a little bit, but it's not too bad. The biggest thing I fought with when I bought this truck was uh, getting all the lights to work on it. That was like, like I fought for, you know, uh, probably a whole month just just uh, going through and getting all these marker lights working. Because um, I, that's something that years ago I wouldn't care if any of the lights worked, you know, but. These days, I really appreciate stuff like that, I guess, a little more. And uh, I'm a little more finicky about getting stuff working. Um, these lights across the tailgate was a big thing for me because uh, the dually I used to own, I, uh, <clears throat> I had a car come off the trailer one day and smash right into the tailgate on that truck. And... Uh, wiped out all the lights and stuff and I just never I never cared and everyone always said you gotta have those lights on a dually it's supposed to have them the DOT police is gonna get you but I never got in trouble for it so these didn't work when I got it, it turned out to be um, the ground was an issue every time you shut the tailgate the ground would uh, would come off because it was stretched so I had to get in there and uh, it was a nightmare fishing around with the wiring um, through these holes because that's the only way in and then I bought these LED ones which is the worst thing I ever did because they look good when they're lit up but um, with the truck with the stiff suspension and you get rattling around and slamming the tailgate the little uh, connections on them they rattle off and I had to uh, I had to go back and mess with a lot of them 
could get them to work, but they've been pretty good. These are, uh, those are just uh, aftermarket tail lights I got off eBay. Not original GM or anything like that. But the other ones are really faded, so. I can't keep plate lights in this thing for some reason. The license plate lights and the bumper. I keep blowing those things. And uh, I'll show you the... That's the style that they are. Just these... You hook them up to power and you just uh, they you shove them in the hole, it gets ground. But as you can see, I ordered a couple more because uh, I don't know, I just always lose those plate lights for some reason. I had to. Uh, I had to mess with a lot of wiring on these for some reason. Make all these clearance lights work. And you can see, uh, oh, I must have uh, disrupted the bulb on this one. Because now that's not working. So. Up here you got that front end that you all love or hate. The one year only 1980 V22 option. That's what they call it. Uh, these are original metal ones. They're pretty pitted. But those are uh, they don't pretty sure they don't remake those yet uh, the metal ones you gotta buy the plastic ones uh, which I don't really care about but some people don't like putting the plastic on there but I do have a set of those on the Suburban bet you didn't know that you would never know by looking at it so maybe that uh, The grill, missing a, you know, it's got a couple of broken clips, a little loose, but no big deal. It's kind of weird, uh, you figure a dually would have, you know, the big mirrors on it, but this just has the regular ones, which I kind of like. It's simple. Um, they work fine. There's no really need to have big tone mirrors, but it is cool. And I do have, like, uh, a few sets of them. But, you know, then you got to take that off, and you got that ugly spot now, and now you have to drill holes and uh, fasten it to the door. But this truck... Um, Another weird option, it's only got one fuel tank. You know, a big block, 410 rear end, three speed, turbo 400, and one fuel tank. You don't get far on that. It's about, I think it's only about 20 gallons, if that. So, kind of weird, uh, they ordered it like that. I mean, the, the half ton farm truck's got two tanks on it. So, that's a little strange, but, of course, we've talked about this uh, before back here. I made it look the best I can. I made that piece of trim, but it needs a little body work back there. The bumper, that thing was bent way down. looked like crap when I got it. I tied it to a tree and used a come along, and I... Made it look the best I could. Um, trying to think what else really. 
there is uh this truck used to have you know a camper on it um so it's got some holes in the bed i would assume for hookups and stuff that they had uh whatever you know going under the truck um it, it looks like they had some sort of a a heater system that ran off the heater hoses up at the engine came right back and came up into the camper maybe do it to supply the camper with some sort of heat I don't know but um, there is a few holes you know just like holes that were cut that we obviously can't see because of the stupid snow but um, so I'd like to you know get in there and um, patch those up and weld some nice pieces in and you know make it all solid again some point it had those stupid chrome uh, simulators on there which kind of looked good but they were the they were in real bad shape and uh, they were the ones that you had to like take the special cap off to to get to the lug nuts and you know um, real pain in the ass to deal with but I threw those off uh, after about a year of owning it. I got rid of those and then recently I did the white like you saw in the other video. Uh, I don't know. I mean obviously they're very hard to keep clean but I do at first I really liked it just that kind of original industrial look of the white wheels but um I don't know. I'm already kind of over it. Thinking about something else. I don't know. Maybe just a black. I, I kind of like the black wheels, but it's a whole different look. Maybe a brand new set of simulators. Just, you know, the chrome covers that go right on. But I don't know. Tell me what you think. When I originally got it, I had thoughts of uh, lowering the truck. I, I do like the look of the, the lowered uh, regular cab dualies I always did. Um, and right away I started looking at kits to uh, drop it down. Um, but I think at this point I appreciate the truck for what it is a little too much. You know, I like the original look of it. Um, doesn't have to be all original, but um, I think I'm just at the point where I'm kind of over the lowering thing on this. Um, you know, obviously, I would like to, you know, come across maybe like a, another one that maybe wasn't as original and then. Um, you know, slam it down and stuff and have a lowered one too, but can't really think of uh, too much else that I want to change on this truck. You know, obviously one day, I mean, be nice to do something about the paint, but I like it the way it is. <clears throat> For the most part, anyway. Um, you know, if money wasn't an object, I mean, yeah, there'd be a lot of a lot of goodies I would buy for it. Um, you know, the, the possibilities would be endless. But in all reality, it's a great truck the way it is. I'm really happy. I finally got the exhaust on there, and. Uh, very reliable does what I want to do fix little things along the way the uh, top of my list right now I guess if, if, if you ask me that question would be um, the exhaust was number one that was getting that done was huge now that I'm over that I can kind of breathe a little bit on it and uh, 
the next thing on the list would probably be getting the floor, you know, the floors slash uh, cab corner on that side, all that stuff fixed up, and those little support pieces uh, make all that solid again. But the problem is, you start doing a project like that, then the truck becomes not usable, which that's why I never went after the manifolds on the, you know, the exhaust manifolds, because you start breaking bolts and stuff now, you got the truck half apart, and you can't do much with it. And if someone wants you to pick up a big load of scrap or, you know, tow a big truck or something, you know, then, uh, then I'm stuck hooking up the old farm truck half ton or, uh, or the other truck, which, um, can't really tow anything these days, but start pulling out the seat and all that, you, uh, you really, you're into it, you're into a project and you either got to stretch it out and be okay with the fact the truck's going to be down for a bit or you got to go quick and what happens when you go quick is you don't do it as good as you want and you don't take your time which happens to me quite a bit so Well, there you go. There's just a little rundown on uh, kind of my wish list, if you would, of things that I'd like to do or change on the truck, and um, that's something that uh, interests you. I hope it was good. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you on the next one.